week. Milwaukee County is paying two full-time security guards for every one full-time security job. For courthouse security, security at the other county buildings, Milwaukee is double paying right now. Why is that? It's because of Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Governor Walker's first draft of the union busting he's trying to do at the state level now is what he did at his last job when he was county executive in Milwaukee. Mr. Walker's union busting at the county level, which he is now trying to extend to the whole state, uh, has just done the legal equivalent of blowing up. In January, a Wisconsin court ruled that Mr. Walker had essentially invented a fake financial emergency to justify him improperly firing the county's unionized security guards. He privatized their jobs, all of them. He handed those jobs over to a foreign private company called Wackenhut. When the county board tried to stop him, tried to save him from himself, really, uh, he overruled them, citing that fiscal emergency he had evidently cooked up. Mr. Walker overruled the county board. He fired all the union guards, and he replaced them with new ones from Wackenhut, a private non-union foreign company that was sort of already a household name. To Scott Walker, Wackenhut became Wisconsin's problem, too. Scott Walker improperly fired the union security guys, brought Wackenhut in instead, took $5 an hour off the wages, slashed the benefits. Wackenhut in turn hired a man with a criminal record who had done jail time and put him in charge of security at Milwaukee's courthouses and other city buildings. Now, because the courts have ruled that Mr. Walker did all of that improperly under the very transparent cover of a ginned up financial emergency, sound familiar? Milwaukee is locked into paying double right now for a service it already has. The old union security guards are back and they've still got the booty hind vodka whack and hut on the job as well. The local journal Sentinel newspaper noting this week that, and I quote, none of the annual savings Mr. Walker promised from his union busting in Milwaukee County, none are expected to materialize. So that's how Scott Walker's union busting dream worked out the first time around. That's what he wants to do to the whole state now. In case you're wondering why folks there are up in arms.